For every person in Texarkana, the U.S. Department of Interior estimates there are 17 rats. In total numbers, this means there are more than one million rats here. Recently, a nine-month-old child was savagely bitten about the neck and shoulders, and its fingers were badly chewed. About a week later, three more people were bitten, prompting some to compare Texarkana to Hamlin, the legendary city that sent out an SOS to the Pied Piper. And uh, we heard something jumping up on the screen, and that's what woke us up. And uh, we were in here on the couch, and this rat jumped up on it. It was real big and everything, and I didn't know I'd even been bitten. And then I went in there, and I saw blood on the bed, and it was all over my toe and everything. And so we caught the rat between this uh, window and the screen and went to the hospital. So tell me, what experiences have you had with rats here in Texarkana? Well, we have trouble with them coming up through the sewer line in the in the restroom. In the building I'm in, there's an old grease trap, and they come up through that grease trap, up through the water. Can you hear them coming in? Oh, I can hear them coming in, yes. I can hear them at night. I'm sitting there working for the desk. I can hear them at night coming in. Is it facetious to say that the rats easily take over this town unless something is done? The rats have taken over some areas of town. Troll. An old black hearse driven by men from the health and sanitation department is being used to answer the calls and alert residents to the increasing rat population. So you're having rat trouble? Yes, sir. Well, we have something here for them. Put them out. Okay. Rats are everywhere. The residents know it, and so does the health department. And in most cases, they are finding enough food, even if it means climbing the stalk to reach an ear of corn. And eat that right there. Give one over here. What have they done there? Climbed up there and ate that corn. In the daytime, it takes a lethal concentration of calcium cyanide to flush the rodents, but they do emerge, and the rat patrol is often waiting. A glance around the city reveals why the rodents are welcome. Texarkana is one of the few cities of its size without city garbage and trash collection and more than one-third of the people either don't have the money or they refuse to hire a private trash collector. This means Texarkana residents dump about 50 tons of garbage on themselves each day. Dr. Bales, what does a rat population of more than one million mean to the health of a community of 60,000? It means that we have a filthy community. Uh, it means that people have a, a lousy attitude uh, uh, concerning their health and, and uh, disease and filth. Uh, you can't have rats unless you have dirty people. People here uh, are larger from a rural environment. They're used to throwing their garbage and trash out the back door, eating with the chickens the hogs, and move into Texarkana. Uh, an interview I had uh, recently, uh, just a few days ago, down in one of these neighborhoods, the people aren't alarmed because they said the rats are not bothering them. They go in at night and turn on the light, and the rats all over the stove in the kitchen. But the, when they turn on the light and make a little noise, they leave. Uh, and uh, they, they, uh, they believe in leaving the rats alone and being left alone. The rats are able to thrive partly because of a confusing bureaucratic situation. Texarkana is split. The Texas-Arkansas border meanders through the center of the city. This means four governments, two state and two city, must agree before anything is done. Such bureaucratic chaos has permitted the garbage dumps to flourish, feeding grounds for rats that sometimes grow as large as cottontail rabbits. Partly because of all the garbage, Texarkana, Texas was denied funds under the Federal Rat Control Act. Texarkana, Arkansas, and Texas have now agreed to begin compulsory garbage collection next month. And the Texarkana, Arkansas mayor says the war on rats has begun. But most sanitation and health officials agree that it's going to take more than garbage collection and disposal to eliminate scenes like this. The kitchen, 
where a man, his wife, and 11 children gather to eat. The greatest single problem seems to be apathy. It's a frustrating fact for health officials like Bowie County Sanitarian William Westbrook. I have a great deal of compassion for these people, but I don't have any compassion for the way they live. Most of them bring this on themselves. Rats will not stay where they're not welcome. They must have a food supply and they must have a place to hide. And if you deny rats either of these, you won't have any rats. They can't be there. Rats are night people. They're secretive by nature. If you expose them, it's like crime. If you expose it, it can't exist. Or neither will a rat. He'll leave. He'll go somewhere else. Rats are, are made welcome by people, either through indifference or ignorance, but they're made welcome. And people that don't want rats won't have rats. The Rat Patrol was created out of desperation, a publicity tactic designed to shake this community into some sort of action. But now, a year later, some officials are saying that not even the Rat Patrol hearse is enough to counteract citizen apathy, that it may take an epidemic, and some health officials go so far as to say the law of averages is fast running out, and there very easily could be an epidemic unless something is done immediately to counteract the rat problem here. Bill Jones, CBS News, Texarkana.